Burley stole the amazing con uh, the amazing what'd you say? <laughs> I was I was trying to get it right and I couldn't remember exactly what you worded it as. I'm gonna get some recruits oh, well. though. Unleash down the dark net that makes it cost more. Hans de Graaf. From the very beginning it was one From the Netherlands. science experiment after another. And then with the advent forces they tried to disguise it. They're no different underneath all that armor. And now it comes to this Dmitry Malakov. Facility dedicated to wiping us out. And not just that. You're hired. But turning us to what? Some kind of concentrate they're using for And we should have known the elders would return. We should have known. It's a, it's a sausage party in here, so let's hire Fumiko Aoki. Oh my god. Or maybe I Fumiko be... Mori. This one will be right back. Super doesn't right. look Japanese. Perfect. Uh, so, my reasoning for that is. I want to go here. And I want to make a specialist. Ah, uh, well, we cannot afford this upgrade, but I would love to do it. Now we're here. fully upgraded, so I just need someone who's not busy. Okay, this is actually good. Aside from the loss of that unit, because I'm picking up an engineer. I also want to get that Avenger power. I'm going to finish grabbing this engineer. And then maybe grab that Avenger power, because it's free. We also have a shitload of intel, so we should black market. Flamethrower is amazing. Alien debris cleared. Let's clear some more debris. Alright, 10 days. Now we can do some more base building. Domination learned. Um, probably do Soul Steel next. Eventually, I just want the Opera fully trained. Splendid. Dragon rounds are cool. I'm gonna queue up another project, because I forgot to last time we were here. Plasma grenade, skull mining, war suit, wraith suit. That'll do for now. And then, as a result of that, we don't have, do we have enough money to do this? We no longer have enough money, so let's just put this unit over here then, until we get more money. Avengers Visit the black market since we're already here. Not need the scientist.
Uh, superior hair trigger is pretty good. No, the rulers aren't in vanilla. They are in the Alien Hunters pack. I think that's the first instance they get introduced. I'll consider getting those things. I want our scopes. Uh, not too interested in that deal. Avenger plotting new so I'll course. scoop the Avenger power, and then we should get a Gorilla Ops. Do the Gorilla Ops, and then make contact, do black sites and whatnot. Oh, story Mitchell. time. Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. So now we have a new uh, sub-objective. New objective added. Jack the Codex. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. I believe we have nothing to research right now. Not even data pads. I don't think we have anything in particular to build either. Nothing especially. So I think we'll hold on to our supplies for now. For upgrades and construction. As expected. Alright, well this one's perfect. Gives us an engineer, encounters a dark event we want to stop. It has a codex. And I believe there will be one, at least one codex on every mission until we do our sub-objective. Elite Lancer, Elite Trooper, Archon, Viper, Enemy Unknown, what kind of enemy haven't we seen yet? A Berserker, maybe? Anyway, there's not going to be... Um, oh, you know what? It's a Gatekeeper. So Gatekeepers are biological, but they do take extra damage from uh, EMP, even though they're not mechanical. If I recall. Yeah. Setting course for so with that in mind, I will not need to bring a combat hacker. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy.
take that to get the face on the screen. Okay. So, Pierre. Got a pretty important job. Um, let's also give you the exosuit. Really like the shredder gun. In the grenade slot, I want acid grenade. And in this slot. Just a regular grenade is fine. You do have heavy ordnance salvo and volatile mix, so there's no reason not to. Even though he's a colonel, this is a pretty important mission. Um, Durf. Don't need Durf because we have Trojan Man. Want Hitman. I don't know if it'll be a good map for him or not, but we definitely want him. Let's do dragon rounds. Well, I don't like to bring colonels in a lot of the slots in a mission. Like, we already have two colonels, that's the highest level. And Durf is also a colonel, so I don't want to bring three colonels. Actually, this would be a great opportunity to train Fumiko as a hacker. So take this, and take this. Um, I think a frag is probably more useful. I can blow through a wall with that. Okay, we're ready to go. See, I, I like to bring only one ranger, and Trojan Man is being trained as a scout right now. He's not quite leveled up. True. Maybe some oil in a hot pan to deal with those kernels. A little bit of salt. For anyone watching this later that can't see chat, it's a incredibly awful popcorn related jest. It does get this place popping. Okay, protect the device. This is actually a great map for a sniper, depending on which building the device ends up in. We don't even have a resident dad here, we have the dad jokes. Resident dad is like the parody version of Resident Evil. Instead of going on killing zombies, you're killing bad puns. Installed nearby. 
We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. We're really far away from the device. Shack Fu will take the initial. Roger Has not scared anything yet. Alright, so that codex is of great importance. That codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the Advent Network. We will need to move in with the Skulljack to initiate the process. Abbiamo una squadra nemica. Now we do have to kill all enemies. Roger that. I might just set up this turn because. Last time, I kind of went for it. Someone got dead. So I'll give Shaq an opportunity to use the Mimic Beacon. Trojan Man. Should be fine because it's not a flanking position. Okay, so there were 11 enemies on this mission. We have five. Okay, spot flanked enemy. This will pop the Overwatches. But the aliens discovered us on their turn, so they shouldn't get to attack on the same turn. Don't kill the Codex. Okay, the Codex may live, which could possibly be even more annoying. The, the Shack can land the shot. Down. Well, I guess we won't be capturing that Codex. Bullshit. When we get discovered on the alien's turn, that's supposed to get to attack. Lancer there, Officer, Lancer, Trooper. And all our shots with Kazi are bad. Shaq will heal first. I'll save Shaq's other turn for last. Smoke this officer before he starts marking people. Look at the battery in that electric car, it's enormous. And we'll get a death from above on the Lancer. Just now on fire because even my gun has. Like my handgun has dragon rounds in it. Now, does this improve my situation, is the question. Marginally. It's not just good, it's good enough. Okay, I want Fumiko to get a killing blow on this guy. That's a great shot. I 
Okay, unless this does maximum damage, it won't kill this guy. Perfect. We got hollow targeting, and we got a flanking shot. Only 86% chance, though. Okay, she should get promotion for getting a kill. Well, I guess maybe not. Just a trooper. It's at eighty seven percent. You have to try it. <laughs> Do you see that death pose though? It spun right around, like a record. Is it clear? Take our implacable move. Back to this Overwatch. It's mildly annoying that they're spawning behind us. We'll just move up slightly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Fumiko in a better position. Here, moving forward. Um, Dirk the Daring can stay back. He's got incredible mobility. Shaq can move up slightly. They haven't started shooting at the objective yet, so I'm not too concerned with getting right to it. I have to kill all enemies so I can deal with these guys eventually. Who's going to be first to go? Nice shot. Another nice shot. Probably not necessary. He's going to throw death anyway. Oh my god, it's the best series of Overwatches we've had all game. Shock. I think I will take this pistol shot. First off, it can't miss. Second off, it did critical. Third off, it burned him. It's a great opportunity to feed Fumiko another kill. I think we just take the shot and hope. You know what? It's a shot didn't deserve to hit. Cannot complain. Start turning the squad this way. I can basically leave my sniper where he is, because he has a great vantage point. Just in case we're in that building, let's take full cover in this direction. No auditory cues. How about if we get within sight of the objective? Nothing. How about over here? Even more nothing. Locked and 
reloaded. Fumiko gets a free reload, so we can go for a big move. Really want her to get a lot of action. Trojan man. Jaunt up here. Watch. And maybe take a peek into this other building too. Nothing. Surely we'll be able to see the price now. It's so weird there's not enemies right beside it so they can start shooting it right away. It's kind of surreal moving through this mission like this. Make a big move. Already there. Still nothing. So doing the left. Maybe down right. the alley. Auto watch. Odd. Right. Do you hear something? Okay, here they come. Right. I get the hunker down aim bonus. I'd love to crack into these guys also. Because they're on the other side of the building, we need a bit of vantage point. Let's go okay. long with our sniper. It baffles me. How no one can see anything. <sighs> Take a careful move. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species right. we've seen. First gatekeeper. And he has a shield barrier to make him even more annoying. So who brought acid? Yeah. Beauty. Okay, so first out acid. Then just a frag after. That should handle most of that pesky armor. We got so lucky that they grouped up there before. Actually, just like screw that whole unit. I don't want to necessarily kill them that hard, but the devil made me do it. I'll try and take some more armor off before I get into that. Probably feed the kill to my recruit. Maybe get some hollow targeting on there. A little oil. It's okay if Kaza gets the kill though. Just barely didn't assassinate my own guy. Well, we're not done yet, so there's that. Solid 
move Dirk over here. Maybe he'll see something, maybe he won't, but he will hunker down. Shack. Okay, that's the edge of the level. You can see everything except the far corner there. Can't see anything over there. This way. On the roof. That was unexpected. Also just fine. We'll throw the mimic beacon out regardless because this is probably the last group. Actually, no chance of the hitman hitting anything. If I'd managed to see them when they were on the roof, then it would have been a different story. But this is the story that we wrote for ourselves. This is probably fine considering we'll only have an Archon left in all likelihood. It, like, I don't know how. It doesn't have a shot. Okay, let's move Shaq over here. I'll hold the Mimic Beacon for quick second. So I'll destroy it with my own shredder. And why use the shredder? Well, I'm probably not going to use it after this point. Looks pretty cool. And maybe by blowing out that wall someone will get line of sight. That's unlikely because it looks like it's double walled. At least we can set Fumiko up for an amazing flank. Okay, he's going for a regular attack. And the Mimic Beacon's still alive, so the Viper has become completely impotent. Has it become comfortably numb? It tried to bind the Mimic Beacon. Like, it's the height of not doing so well. Out. Someone should have put Muscle Relaxers in the Mimic Beacon, so when he eats it, he just, like, keels over. Welcome to the stream. No, snakes, are basically... snakes are basically all muscle. Welcome to the stream. And this Wait, did you it. say something about not meeting me? Not needing me? Yeah, so I'm taking Trojan Man on this. I didn't need two Rangers. My character's crying in the barracks right now. You know that. Yeah, but your character's a colonel, and he's not. So 
I already have two colonels in this mission. You know what? My character's actually probably happy you're not bringing him. You're not bringing him with you, considering your death count. It's not so bad. Also, we got a hair trigger, so. Wow. He dodged it. What a dick. Sitting, sitting there going. Good thing I'm not going with that maniac. So you know, eggs, omelets. Next card. Let's just take away the ability to miss. I mean, he doesn't need to. He's got a sweet-ass sword. Should be it. I like how you trailed off like you weren't exactly sure how sweet-ass the sword was. I don't know whether it was that or whether it was my mic screwing up. Could be either one. Anyway, we had one minor wound, which was Shaq taking a critical hit to the back of the head right at the start. But aside from that, excellent mission. It's but it's about the flesh wound. I'm pretty sure Shaq is a mimic beacon. He's always the first to get shot. Even when I don't put him right at the front, he's always the first to get shot. He's a living Mimic Beacon? I, I have to think so at this point. I don't think anyone's been wounded as much as Shaq. He's been shot more than nine times. Does he have nine tails? Not anymore. Let's see how... Where the hell is Kaze been? You well, didn't get he... killed, did you? No, Kazu's right there beside Shaq. And it's only 8 days on the wound. Shaq's record is like 25 days. Okay, so Fumiko has also on? gained aim. Oh, shot his dick off. Critical miss. <laughs> he shot his dick off. Yeah, he rolled two ones. Critical miss. Shot his dick off. <laughs> Poor Shaq. It's, it's fine with advanced technology. It's like nothing ever happened. Like thing ever to you. So, so he got an engineer and prevented a major breakthrough. His work. You might actually have a surplus of engineers for the first time ever.